Yeah, we left the show around five o'clock yesterday because we yeah. had to catch a uh, we had to catch a you know a, we had an eight ten flight a, a flight out of Newark and uh, for some reason Norton decided um, you were his date and he was gonna <laughs> he was gonna bump you up to first oh, class uh, Nort- with Nort- all of his <laughs> continental points that he has. It, trust me, it's nothing special because everyone in uh, first class w- was convinced that we're a gay couple because this guy loves to make you feel uncomfortable. Oh well, uh, on the plane he'll be saying things like a sweetie pie. Do you want some uh, champagne? Yeah, yeah nice then, that is pumpkin and then, puff. And then I have to go to the stewardess. Look, man, this is just what he does. And sure it is. After a while, they don't believe you, you know? Of course not. And, well, they shouldn't. So I made a deal with Jim. <laughs> Norton's, the beads are stuck it on his head. sucks. You are a mess. Norton's getting strangled by the Mardi Gras. He's getting below the Mason Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting strangled. It looks like a big freaking snake uh, around his neck. Someone's got to help him take the beads out of his, his head. Look, normally, these are inserted and then yanked out quickly at the magic moment. <laughs> <laughs> Your beads go all the way down in the floor, you shrunk little mess. mess. You're a mess. Like, awful. Look, at the beads, uh, they, they hang nice on Ant and I, but when you put them on, they hit the floor and drag. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're in first class. Tom, I yeah. can't handle more beads. And, you guys. And trust me, we're going to do an hour of radio on you in a minute here. Yeah, you can, man. Suck it up. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, that's the guy that runs the station. That's a, a, another story in itself. Yeah. So I got to explain... Norton, Norton gave me first class because there was only one other seat available. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and everyone else is. Alone. Yeah, everyone we were else all is companion flying. Exactly. We so. had companions. <laughs> so I, I got to tell you, and I'm hoping uh, other people from the crew will join the club. Right. Because it was getting so embarrassing uh, in first class that I, I made a deal with Jim. I go, dude, will you leave me alone with the gay crap? Everyone thinks we're gay. It's not funny he anymore. He loves letting I'm people think you're a gay couple. I don't, like, I don't like flying as it is, especially after 9-11. I'm really stressed out. Could you just stop? Right. So I made a deal. He's been wanting me to smell his belly button for, uh, what, about a year and a half now? A year now? and a half. year and a half. What? What he does, dude, he takes his index finger, right, and he, and he gets a good one. He you gets got, a good one. Just that you know that and you saw it gay right there. No, that's not gay. That's God, totally God, good. No, guys that hang out do stupid stuff uh, like that. You know, belly well, buttons. Right. Well, Couple you should hear about Karen Rich. Smells. Rich Voss has a smell that comes from behind his ear. That's a that's a, another story in itself. Right. It somehow transmits into his And I said ear. Act. Okay, listen. So Jim, so Jim, you know, he gets a good one. He puts his index uh-huh. finger and digs yeah. and digs and digs. Yeah. He goes, you smell this, I'll, I'll leave you alone for the, the rest of the flight. I go, all right, what the hell? You smelt it. I smelt it. It, it is probably the worst smell I've ever smelled was it dead, in dead animal? my life. Dead I, animal? I started dry heaving. Yeah. What was it? Like, I, a, like I, a dead car. He, like he says it smells like grape jelly. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, oh now I got beads. Hold, hold on. Tom, yeah, about, we're trying to do a broadcast Tom, for your radio Tom, station. How about we here? wait? You and, alcoholic. Uh, I'll put it on after my headphones are off because when you put them on over your headphones, all of a sudden, you're done. All right. So I, I, I smelled the finger, and, and now I'm part of this... Uh, Here, Rick, have a pearl necklace. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm part of a special club, because I think only I and uh, Rich Voss have ever smelled your Voss finger. Voss actually vomited out the window, and Some I did Some tranny it. hookers you hear that? had their nose down Voss there. Voss vomited. I was Getting dry heaving on the plane last night. That's disgusting. So he finally left me alone. Two but, men in first class smelling each other. Yeah, just getting along, taking it out, rubbing it on the other guy's chin, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> so uh, we, we touched down. And uh, we we did the we did the mellow route. We didn't do much in first class, and we're waiting for you guys to come yeah. off the plane. We were in trouble. Did the rest of the crew from the Opie and Anthony show stagger, stagger off the plane? The whole freaking plane you made friends with, obviously. Uh, they hated us at first, and then I gotta credit Norton with this. Uh, his gag that he pulls where people walk by and he goes, you drop something, and then turns away completely and does not acknowledge them ever again. They'll be looking like, who said I dropped something? What did I drop? And you will not even make eye contact or anything. I can't take credit for that gag, though. It is a very old gag that yeah. people have been doing since the 1800s. Well, you know something? It's very funny. <laughs> Thou dropped this something. <laughs> it's very funny. Is that your sword? And sometimes you just got to go, oh, excuse me, is... And then they turn around and look. We were doing this on the plane like no one could go anywhere anytime like uh, a guy would or a girl would go to the bathroom or one of the flight attendants we'd be pulling these wacky hijinks and uh, it worked every time and the more drunk we got the funnier everything got and believe me we were 
hammered. You guys were really hammered. Now, we had to trade seats around a little bit because the geniuses that put this trip together decided to scatter us about the plane what, you didn't in like random the, fashion. You didn't like the crack hotel we stayed in last night? Yeah, that was also All nice. All right, we'll get to that in a little well, bit. No, why would you want to fly together with people you're on the itinerary with? That would be silly. Ah, silly. So scatter us around the plane so we got to make deals with people. I had to buy a woman a drink to have her change seats. And... Uh, Ben and Stinky had a guy sitting between them that hated them when the trip started. And then after uh, a while, everyone was so drunk, they were like a-hole buddies. They're all, they're all pals. So this big jock guy goes walking by, and Ben goes, You drop something. And the guy turns around and looks, laughing, laughing, laughing. He figures out uh, that it's coming from our seats. So I go, real funny telling him, uh, You drop something, Ben. This guy looks at Ben like, You want to to kill. kill him. Kill. To kill him. And this is what happened the whole uh, ride there. Like, I was thinking that the flight attendants were going to... Uh, because you can't screw around on planes anymore. No. And it was getting to that point where everyone was intoxicated and uh, they were pulling things that maybe you shouldn't pull on an aircraft. A lot of fun, though. Drunk off our asses. And uh, I think we had a better time in coach than you guys did in first oh, class. Oh, first class is awful. We and tried to get a guy to fun. switch. That fat slob. That fat diabetic who I hope yeah. loses a toe today wouldn't switch with us. <laughs> no, he switched at first, but it was a whole hassle. Yeah. Like, oh. You know what? Because he wants the aisle seat because he's so effing fat. He wants to be able to get up and go to the bathroom without heavy equipment being yeah. used. He was a disgusting fat body. You know, know, know what he says? He goes, all right, I get, I'll try it. I'll try it. We go, could, you know, we're, we're separated, want to sit together, whatever. He goes, all right, I'll try it. And then he walks away, and then he comes back. He goes, you know what, I tried it. Dude, you left ten seconds ago. Yeah, but I, I want to sit in my seat. Like, ugh. Oh. You know what the problem is? If you're that goddamn fat, stay off of airplanes. You're annoying to look at, and you're an inconvenience. It's not our fault you can't stop shoving food into your lonely, fat mouth. Hire a flatbed. <laughs> that really annoyed. He was. That's what his problem was. He was so goddamn fat. Yeah. He wanted to sit in the front where there was a little bit more room. Right. He's oh! Oh! Thank God we have. Um, thank God we have a dump button back at the. Um, yeah, the engineer station. down here in New Orleans go, uh, is like, I can't take care of that. That's all right. I can we take got, care of everything else you guys need, but we got I got the guy on the uh, dump button back I, home. I can't take care of the F word. That's fine. You know what else was great? Um, First of all, Stinky and Ben, you know, I like to drink, but I do it on planes. Uh, I'm very economical. I, I have a plan. I get a bunch of beer right off the bat and just line them up. That way I can knock them back as the, uh, as, uh, the trip progresses. Those guys, uh, they're always asking the, the flight attendant for, for something to drink. I mean, this, you hear the landing gear coming down like we're that close <laughs> to landing, and they're like, one more, please. And uh, she's like, no, we, we can't do this. And then... Uh, ben is telling the flight attendant that it's Stinky's birthday. Like, that's going to work. And she comes back later with a big bottle of wine nice. and gives it to a Stinky for his fake birthday. But they're trying to get beers as, like, we're taxiing to the terminal in, <laughs> in New Orleans. All right, so uh, we're at this uh, strip club. It's Temptations. They say it's a strip club. We have one girl dancing down the stairs in the dark somewhere. Uh, we're right on Bourbon Street, so uh, yeah. I guess this is for the locals. If you're close, come on by and say hi, right? Absolutely. Uh, we're, I think we're going to do some uh, Naughty Nighties today, aren't we, Ant? Last yes. day to qualify for the Naughty